To set up your Gantt block, make sure that you already have a table containing the records you want to plot on your Gantt chart. This table needs to include two date fields, one for start dates and another for end dates. You can select the appropriate table, view, and date fields using the drop-down menus in the Gantt settings panel. You should now have an interactive timeline of all your activities. If you want to add dependencies to your Gantt chart, your table needs to have a linked record field that links back to its own table. For example, if you are using a table called Tasks, you need a linked record field that links to other records in the Tasks table itself. If you already have a field with predecessor or successor information, say because you imported an existing spreadsheet into Airtable, you can easily convert it into a self-linking linked record field. The information will automatically be transformed into linked records. Select this field in the block's dependencies settings, and your dependencies will automatically appear on the chart. If you don't already have a field for dependencies, create a new one. I'll make a new self-linking linked record field for predecessors now and call it blocked by. Remember, predecessors are tasks that need to be completed before the action or record's primary field, and successors are ones that must be completed after. Instead of immediately adding information to this field, I'll choose it as the basis for dependencies in the block's settings and specify that it's a predecessor field. Now I can manually draw dependencies on the chart itself, and this information will automatically be added to the linked record field on my grid. If you'd like to group the bars in your Gantt chart by options in a select field, simply choose that field in the block's group settings. You can also customize the color of your chart by picking one specific color for all records, pulling the colors from a select field, or by copying any existing conditional record coloring on the view that you selected for your Gantt chart. Now that you know the basics, try setting up a Gantt chart of your own. If you have any questions, please check out our support articles, thumb through the community forum, or write to us directly.